Part 2, Basic Notation in Algebra. You will find this on page 78 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Basic Notation in Algebra. The signs plus, minus, multiply, divide and equal have the same meanings in algebra as in arithmetic. Let me show you how to use algebraic notation. Let's look at an example. Wendy is 14 years old. Find her age after 3 years, 8 years, X years. So her age at present is 14. So after 3 years, it will be 14 plus 3, which is 17. After 8 years, it will be 14 plus 8, which is 22 years. And after X years, it, it will also be 14 plus, but now instead of adding 8 or 3, I just add X. Now, due to the fact that I do not know the value of X, I just leave it like this. And we can say that this, this is an algebraic expression. Okay, I want you to do for me try now one, stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's look at try now one. Zander is 12 years old. Find his age after four years. So it will be 12 plus 4, and that will be 16 years. Number B. After 10 years, so it will be 12 plus 10, and that will be 22 years of age. And now comes number C, in years. I do not know the value of in. So then I'm just going to say 12 plus in. I can even put a bracket and I can just say years. As soon as I'm telling you the value of n, you can substitute it and work it out. But for now, you will just leave it like this and we will call this an algebraic expression. So in this case, we can say it's an arithmetic expression and that's why we can simplify it. But this is an algebraic expression. And due to the fact that we do not the know the value of n, we cannot simplify it. Let's look at example two. A worker's salary is 200 less than one-third of the manager's salary. Okay, I'm going to highlight a few things. It's, mm, let's just keep this pen. It's 200 less, so it's a subtraction, than one-third of the manager's salary, okay? And now I'm asking you, find the worker's salary when the manager's salary is 7200. So let's first get a general formula or expression. So from the information given, the worker's salary is one-third of the man manager's salary. One-third of the manager's salary. And then 200 less than that. So subtract, less means subtract, 200. Okay, so find the worker's salary when the manager's salary is 7200. So basically, I just substitute there 7200. Now, due to this, that all these numbers, I can simplify it. So I can press this on my calculator. I will get 2400, and then if I subtract the 200, I will get 2200. But now... When the workers, when the managers, okay, when the worker's salary, when the manager's salary is M. So now I substitute not 7200, I substitute the value of M. I can not simplify it to a single number because I do not know the value of M. But I can just simplify it a little bit. Now, what we do is if we have, for example, one third times M. Just make m a fraction by putting it over 1. And then it will be 1 times m is m. And 3 times 1 is 3. And that's why I'm having m, look there, m over 3. Minus 200. And I leave that. That is again my algebraic 
expression. That is my algebraic expression. Okay, I want you to do for me try now two A, B, and C. And again, stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, I'm reading for you. Let's highlight a few things. The breadth of a rectangle is 4 centimeters shorter. Now, I like to say subtraction read. So, 4 centimeters shorter than half its length. Okay, so the breadth, it, it's first half the length and then subtract 4. So, basically, if I want to, to write down a formula, let's say this is try now 2. I can basically say to find the breadth, it's just going to be half the length and I must subtract 4. So basically, if I'm coming and I'm saying number A, I'm saying to find then the breadth will just be half the length. I'm telling you the length is 30 and I will subtract 4. And if I will do that, it is 15 minus 4, and that will be 11 centimeters. That's number A. Let's look at number B. Okay, remember, the breadth is half the, half the length, so it's half of 26, and again, subtract 4. So what will I get? I will get 13, half of 26, subtract 4, and I will get 9 centimeters will be the breadth. And now the final one, x. So again, let's just substitute in the place of the length, x, and we subtract 4. And basically, we can just leave it like this by saying a half x minus 4, and put it in brackets, centimeters. You can also write this as x over 2 minus 4 centimeters. And remember, this is again an algebraic expression. Let's look at the final page. Okay, let's look at this example. The price of an orange is $5, and the price of an apple is $4. Find the total price of two oranges and three apples, X oranges and Y apples. Okay. Now, the price of two oranges is five Namibian dollar times two. Price of three apples, four Namibian dollar times three. And I just add it up and I get 22. But now, as soon as I come to this, I can now say the price of X oranges. So just say five times X. The price of Y apples, say four times Y. And now, basically, I'm just adding it up. So it's going to be five X plus four Y again. Leave it like this. This is an algebraic expression. Okay, I want you to do for me, try now three, do number A as well as number B. Okay, let's look at try now three. Okay, I'm, I'm saying the price of, an, uh, of a knife is six Namibian dollar and the price of a fork is four Namibian dollar. Find the total price of three knives and four forks. So let's look at A. So it will be the price of three knives, which will be, remember, it's six, so it's six Namibian dollar times 3, and that will be 18 Namibian dollar. And then the price of 4 forks, it will be 4 Namibian dollar times 4, which will be 16 Namibian dollar. And then therefore, the total price will be equal to, we can just say, 
it's that 18 plus the 16, and that will be equal to 34 Namibian dollar. Okay, now, now number B. I, I'm actually doing the same method. I'm just going to change colors because it's a bit more challenging. So I'm saying, again, the price, okay, let's look. If I'm asking you in this case, I'm going to, the price of knife is for it, $6. So that I'm going to say of N, price of N knives is going to be, and let's just say $6. times n, okay, and the price of m forks is going to be $4 times n. And then basically, therefore, the total will just be equal to, there's my Namibian dollar. Oh, it's not very nice. Let's just redo that dollar. Pain is struggling a little bit. Okay, so it will just be 6, 6 N plus that 4 N. And remember, leave it like this. This is an algebraic expression. And then finally, I just want to go through this table. The following table summarizes and compares the arithmetic notation and algebraic notation for the basic operations. So if I say the sum of 3 and 4, so it's 3 plus 4 or 4 plus 3, and that's equal to 7. Now, if I put it in terms of algebra, I will say the sum of x and y is z. So it's just x plus y or y plus x will be equal to z. Then the difference between 7 and 2 is 5. So there is a arithmetic notation. The difference between x and y is z. There an algebraic notation. The product of 2 and 5 is 10. There I showed you. You can also say 2 times 5 or 5 times 2 is 10. And then if I say the product of x and y is z. So x times y or y times x is z. And we, we don't have to write that multiply. We can just put the this um, letters next to each other. And then the quotient, when 8 is divided by 2 is 4, there I wrote it as an arithmetic notation. And then the quotient, when x is divided by y is z, I can either write it like this or I can write it like this.